After 21 years, I finally bought a new car and I still love my old one. So I donated it and I wanted to introduce you to the organization that has my baby red changing gears. And welcome to, to um, Katie Armantrop, who is the marketing and communications director for changing gears. Katie, thank you so much for joining me today. There's my car. Oh. <laughs> oh <my God>. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much for having us, Mona. Um, and thank you so much for donating your car, too. It, is, it was serving you for 21 years and now it is serving our community. Yes. Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Let people know about Changing Gears and what it does. Yeah, absolutely. So we are a local nonprofit. We were founded in 2013 here in Cincinnati, and we are partnered with the CityLink Center. So CityLink, um, they take, they have clients and they help people systematically work their way out of poverty. So they take them through a job training and get them placed in a job. And once they have a job, a lot of their clients don't have their own transportation. So that's where we come into play. People will donate their cars to Changing Gears, and we're able to fix some of them up and then sell them to CityLink clients at half the market value at a 12-month interest-free loan. So our mission is to remove transportation barriers for those who are working their way out of poverty. Wow, that is, you know, that is exactly why I chose to donate my car to you. It just, it just goes to such good, a good cause and to good people who are trying to work and may need transportation. So tell us, how did Changing Gears get started? Yeah, so Changing Gears was founded by Joel and Marnie Bockelman. Joel has a passion for cars. He has a passion for helping people. And he had this vision. Uh, he knew that transportation was a real barrier to those who are trying to work their way out of poverty. Um, it's as much of a barrier as housing can be. And so he had this vision where um, he could make transportation affordable, very similar to Habitat for Humanity, but basically with cars. So instead of us giving cars away, we uh, make it affordable. So that's where we sell them at half the market value in an interest-free loan. Some clients are able to purchase the cars outright, which is amazing. And um, that way the cars, old cars will get new life. And every single car that we get, any car, any condition helps fuel that mission moving forward. Well, that's wonderful, Katie. So why do you think this program is important in our community? Yeah, it is hugely important. Uh, again, it's about removing those barriers to transportation. It's uh, almost like a chicken or egg scenario, really. Um, those, uh, you need a car to get to your job, but you can't afford a car if you don't have a job. And uh, there are many people in the community who don't work very close to home. So having a car enables them to get to and from work, having affordable transportation enables them to get to and from work. In many situations, they're able to take a higher paying job somewhere else in the city. And also with Cincinnati, we do have public transportation, but there are certainly gaps in it. And we hear from a lot of our clients, it'll take them one or two hours um, just to get to work. So that's a one to two hour commute one way. And so when they, um, have their own car, they, they will share often that the first thing they get back is their time. So they are so grateful um, to have time back. They are empowered individuals who uh, graduated from a program at CityLink, they have a job, and now they have uh, their transportation, they have a car, and so it really kind of completes the equation. And that is a great thing that you're doing there. Okay, so let's take people through the process. Okay, you have a car, you <laughs> wanna make the donation, people call you, and then what happens? Yeah, so they can call, they can go to our website, changing-gears.org, and the, what's really special about Changing Gears versus any other place in the city is that we, uh, we have the most convenient process for our donors. So in Kentucky and Ohio, to donate your car, you have to have the title notarized. So we have notaries on staff in both Kentucky and Ohio. So we'll ask, do you have the title to the car? And if so, we will come out and we will meet you at your house. We'll notarize the title right there. And then uh, we have our um, tow trucks. We have a, a towing partner as well. And we'll pick up that car right away or worst case within 24 hours of of getting the title signed over to us. So it's easy, it's convenient. And once the car is brought to us, we have master technicians on staff and they assess every vehicle and determine what is, how will it best serve 
our community? How will it best serve our organization? And there are a number of cars that we're able to fix up and sell them to CityLink clients. And then there are others that we, um, we get a variety of cars, like I said, any car, any condition. And so if we get a higher end car, like a BMW or a Mercedes or something that may not be affordable for one of the clients, we're able to um, fix it up and sell it on the open market. Um, so we can sell the cars again and get value out of them. Every single car is worth something. So we're able to get value out of every vehicle and uh, all the 100% of that money just goes back into our organization to be able to continue maintaining cars and selling cars to the CityLink clients. Okay, well tell us about, um, the, you also, if you want to, you get to take a picture with your car. So um, yes. they, you will follow up with some of the donors, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we do follow up with our donors, um, not only with all of the tax documents, but we follow up with them uh, when we are when we do sell their car to a client. We follow up with them. And pre-COVID, we would have huge celebrations when the when the client pays off their title and the donor and, and the client can actually meet. Uh, but we do follow up with our donors. Uh, we want them to know this is what we've done with your car. Thank you. This is how it's serving our community. And our, our donor community is a very special community that, um, you know, that that gives us those assets and donates those assets to us. So tell us about uh, the kind of people that um, are donating cars and also tell us a good story about the people who are receiving the cars. Yeah, so the, um, the people who donate cars, and it's, I mean, we've had former clients donate their car to us, which has been amazing, or they'll tell their family when they purchase a car from us, they will um, tell their family and they will give us cars. Um, anyone in the community um, are People have donated several cars to us. We have a ton of repeat donors and probably our, our strongest reference is really word of mouth. Uh, and then as far as clients go, our clients are just simply amazing people who have decided to make a change in their life and really take ownership of their life. Uh, recently, uh, just this past week, we had a, a client who was able to purchase his car outright, which was truly amazing. And we had him come in uh, once we got the title transferred over to him. And he shared a story and he had been incarcerated for 13 years. And while he was, and while he was away, his, he lost both of his parents. And so when he, he was released, he decided he's gonna change his life. And so that's where he was able to work with JBM Packaging, get a job and through CityLink and through us, we were able to provide him a car. And he said, this car is going to be used for good. Um, nothing bad, this will only be used for good. And one of the places that he went was he went back to the bus stop where he had last seen his father. And he's like, dad, look at me now. I wish you could see how far I've come. So if you wanna hear more stories, you can go to our Google reviews. We have a ton of client and donor stories who've talked about the, the process of working with Changing Gears. So look us up on social media, go to our website and you can get started and donate your car today or you can provide a financial donation as well if you don't have a car to give. And then we also welcome everyone to share our social media posts too. Because again, you may, you're not always in a situation where you can donate a car, but um, just creating awareness and sharing us on social media or providing a review really helps get the awareness out and it supports uh, our organization more than you ever know. So we appreciate all of those contacts. All right, Katie, thank you so much. We appreciate you coming on the show.